losing him. No way you're losing me. Going nowhere fast. Let him come. The more, the merrier. Hey, Grandma, you call that driving? Let's rock and roll. This car needs fixing. Now. I'm gonna need another car soon.
Brian Tong here with CNET at E3 2011, and in my hand we have a first look at Sony's PlayStation Vita. Now the first thing you're going to notice right off the bat, this gorgeous 5-inch OLED display. Also the power of the graphics in this handheld, unlike every, anything we've seen before. They really touted that it was on or almost on the level of PS3 graphics. I'm going to tell you when I look at this, it's made me a believer. Now some of the other features that this has, it has dual analog sticks, something we've been waiting for. Also some innovative touch play. So this screen on the front is a touch screen. It also has a touch panel on the back side that is incorporated into gameplay for a variety of titles. Now this device is equipped with Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and 3G. AT&T will be the carrier here in the U.S. I know some of you might not be so thrilled about that, but either way, if you want to get access to data at any time, you have that ability. Now the PS Vita also has a front-facing camera and a camera on the back side that you can be used for you know, augmented reality apps. But the models here available, there's two of them. The Wi-Fi version will be 249. It'll be available sometime in the holiday season. And the Wi-Fi and 3G version will be 299. But there you have it, the first look at one of the most anticipated handhelds that I can remember. And uh, it feels really light, and I can't wait to get my hands on this more. There you have it, Brian Song here at E3 2011 with the PS Vita.